Welcome to my speech. Today, I will be talking about capital punishment as known as death penalty. First of all, what is capital punishment? It is the decided execution of a criminal by a court of law. Seeing this as a murder, many countries does not, do not enforce capital punishment, but even on the 21st century, 53 countries are enforcing it. Before I start, I want you guys to know when did it all start. It all started on the um, 8th century in the code of King Hammurabi. They enforced execution in order for 12 different uh, crimes. Murder wasn't one of them. Knowing the mass history of execution, I don't want to get into much detail, but still I can talk about why are they enforcing capital punishment. Um, first of all, here are some countries enforcing that penalty. As you can see, here is Belarus, um, USA, Arabia, China, Japan, and etc. Only in Belarus, 200 people were executed in 2002. In 2012, 12,000 people were executed in um, China. Mostly the countries enforcing capital punishment have a high crime rate, but on the other hand, not wanting crime rate to increase, Japan enforced death penalty for years and educated their people well. So when I mention education, people ask themselves if education is more important of the or the death penalty. Here, as you can see on the map, Switzerland has a low crime rate as well, and they don't enforce capital punishment. But it's still, Japan has also a low crime rate, but they do enforce capital punishment. In my opinion, capital punishment must be enforced, but not to all crimes such as um, murder, rape, or maybe even drug dealing, only to serious crimes, as I said. Keep in mind that the duty of the government is not to make people feel any kind of despair, it is to make people feel safe. So thank you for listening, and yeah. Thank you for your presentation very much. Okay.